climate change is one of the biggest challenges we're going to face ever as humanity, let alone as a city. For Christchurch, it's a really low-lying city. Sea level rise is going to be one of our biggest impacts. So over the next 30 years, the projections are that we could have 20 centimetres, or possibly up to 60 centimetres. If we look forward over 50 years, it could be somewhere between 60 centimetres to up to a metre. And over 100 years, we could have somewhere between a metre to 1.5 metres. The responsibility for climate change and emissions and sea level rise really lays with current and past generations. Children haven't been part of the problem, if you like, but they're the ones who are going to be most impacted by it. Council's been running our coastal adaptation program. We've had someone working with schools across the district to talk to children about the impacts of sea level rise, but also about the framework that's been developed and the different types of processes we might go through. Welcome to the council building. I'm Sarah Templeton and Today we've got a group of students from five different schools. The students are going to be looking at the coastal adaptation framework that council is currently consulting on, putting together a submission and that will be presented to council. All the children have gone through learning about climate change, its impacts, adaptation and mitigation. This today is about taking what they've learnt through the programme. So they're going through what they like, what they're confused about, what's missing, and then for them, how they can get their voice heard and applying it in a real life context. It still relates to yeah. this is our future, this first one. They've kind of said, look, you listen to us, but will you really hear us, hear what we're saying? Saving our community, we want to be able to have a say, but also have a say in how we do it and when we're going to go about it, I think. Yeah, because yeah, adults don't always believe that people like us can make a change. But <laughs> like not yeah. The adults, they treat us kids like we don't really know much about climate change and they know more. I don't think they've learned much about climate change in their schools when back then. Um, and they didn't know that it would be happening in a few years. Yeah. Leaving it to their kids to deal with all of it. They want us to make sure that the solutions we put in benefit future generations just as much, if not more, than they benefit the current ones. And not just doing what we normally do, which is pay for infrastructure in the future. There's an assumption that people know what climate change is. There's an assumption that they know what adaptation is. And for them, something that's missing is the whole education around climate change. The students were really clear that education needed to be part of the framework and not just for kids. We can't leave it for kids to educate their parents. The threat it has to us and the threat it has to Earth. We want to start implementing all these different ideas and all these different ways to combat climate change now. Not five years in the future, now. Some people find it like scary to learn about climate change because they don't want to admit it's happening. And a lot of people don't actually understand what is actually happening. People don't believe in climate change. People need to know, they need to know the facts and it sh definitely shouldn't be sugar-coated. We need to recognise future generations and what it's going to look like in the future, not just now. The managed retreat is the last option before we consider all other options before having to move people away from their place where they've pretty much been their whole life. And we expect genuinely that you include our thoughts and ideas and respect them. Right, item 17. Coastal Hazards Adaptation Framework and Coastal Panel. Thank you very much for having us. And today we are seeking from you an endorsement of the final Coastal Adaptation Framework and the Coastal Panel for the Littleton Whakaropo Adaptation Area. We received uh, 101 submissions on the Coastal Adaptation Framework. There were significant submissions from children and young people from across the district. We received, in addition, some feedback from children and young people that wanted education to be made more prevalent in the framework, increasing people's awareness and understanding of climate science and climate change. We think that they would add a lot of value, and so we're really happy to make those changes that they're recommending, which is to clarify that the education will be focused intergenerationally, not just on children and young people, and that the sustainability principle references um, managed retreat Retreat, not just the word retreat to be very clear. All right, I will put the motion. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Those opposed? 
Thank you, that's carried. Thank you. One of the things that is proven to work is hopeful action. When we all take individual personal action, whether it be stopping using the car as much, eating fewer you know, meat meals, those kind of things, but also making sure you use your political voice and make submissions to council and make sure you put pressure on council and government to take the actions that are necessary. I think that the fact that these kids have engaged with council and actually seen that they made a difference, I really hope that will encourage them to keep doing that and have their say.